Hey folks, Technivers here. Be sure to reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button and give that notification bell a good first layer squish. Today's video is all about custom USB sticks. First, this video is brought to you by my favorite Bitcoin faucet, FreeBitco.in. Take your chances and roll the faucet for up to $200 in free Bitcoin every hour. Link to the site is in the description. Stay tuned later in the video to see how it works and all the cool stuff you can do with your payouts, including easy withdrawals. The very first thing I wanted to do was make a piece to fit around the end of the USB. And this would be the part touching whatever it is plugged into. And these USBs have a wider chip than the actual plug itself. So I want to make sure it fits snugly over the plug but won't slide over the chip. I've taken my measurements and we're going to print the opening to make sure it fits before we go any further. Because a test print like this can save you a lot of time and it's way better than printing an object just to have to start over. So here we have our test model. It is only about a millimeter high and it is very, very thin. You can see in the top left of the screen here, I've mocked up a little mini USB stick. Now it's thicker than the chip is, but it is just as thick as the port. So this will ensure that we can encompass the whole object inside whatever type of case we decide to build. So first things first, we're gonna go simple and this model won't take too long. I believe it was about 10 minutes on the bed. As you can see, it is ready to take off. Now, one of the reasons that I printed such a small piece was because I kind of knew that I was probably going to have to remeasure to get as snug a fit as I wanted. And this first one was a little bit too tight. So I did have to go back into Fusion and add a little bit more space there. But that's not a big deal. It's pretty easy to do. You just select your measurement and change it. Um, then we uh, re-extrude and we will print again. This should fit almost perfectly. One of the things I did to get the second print to work a little bit better was make a mock-up of the USB stick itself. And you can see here that it does fit over the actual USB pretty easily and slides down, but it is a firm and snug fit. So this is a win and we're going to roll with this. We'll do some modifying and that'll be the base of the body for this USB stick. So you can see here I did make a mock-up of the USB stick to make sure that the fit was a little bit tighter. So this will be the second print here and it goes on a lot easier. It's a little bit tight but it's about perfect for what we want because it should hold it in place as well. So that's going to be the base for the body of our USB stick and now we're going to go back and make some more modifications. We are going to use this mock-up in Fusion 360 to ensure that any case we make is also large enough to fit around the basic size of the USB stick. That way the USB will fit inside. We just wanted that opening to be nice and tight. That way it kind of seals it in there. We'll also be making a cap for the front end to cover it and a cap for the back. And I kind of speed through this process once I start doing the actual modeling here. Um, because it's really simple sketches and extrusions. My next iteration was a really chunky version of a standard USB stick and I began that process by using our pre-made mouth model and extending it a little bit wider. Now this one of the reasons this first model as you can see here in a minute came out so chunky but it allowed me to do a lot with the material that was there later on such as removing it in ways that were beneficial to me so I didn't mind. You will see in the print though that the next iteration was really chunky and really thick. And you can see how blocky it is here. And this worked really well. Everything fit well. I did end up making a cap for the top as well, which I'm not sure if I show much of that in the video, but it actually worked really well with the two flanges I put on there. And I'm going to print all this out. And this is the beginning of the next version. So this is after I've rounded off the edges a little bit to remove some of that excess weight. I went into the cap that covers the actual USB port itself and added a few little bumps to make it easier to slide it in there and also to grip the USB a little bit better. Now you see these a lot on these types of caps just because it makes the opening a little bit wider but these teeth here are at the right distance to grip it, so it's really easy to slide it in, especially if you get a curved edge on there like that. So we printed that out. It came out pretty well as well. I'm really enjoying the process so far. It's been fun, and I have a couple ideas for different stuff that I'd like to make. 
into USB sticks, so I think we'll go down that road next. Let's see how the finished product works. Now this is actually a pretty slim USB case, and I like the way that it came out. It looks really nice, and I like the color as well, but I mean, that's not the point, right? There's the cap I was telling about, and the other cap, and everything fits snugly and doesn't fall apart. None of the pieces pop out. I mean, it's pretty well held together and protected, so I like that. Next, I decided to make something a little bit more fun. So I thought this color would kind of make a pretty cool Minecraft creeper. So I started off by modeling a big blocky figure around the USB ports that I already had and continued to model until it looked suitably like a creeper, I guess. You know, you got to add some legs to the block and I think in a minute here I'll work on the head. And now let's talk a little bit more about our sponsor, FreeBitCo.in. As I said, it's a free Bitcoin faucet that you can roll every hour. Now a faucet is an outlet that gives you a small amount of Bitcoin for free. Usually you get a trickle of coins by clicking or rolling the faucet at set intervals. The awesome thing about this particular faucet is that you can get up $200 of Bitcoin in a single roll and you can roll again every hour. So if you just let it add up, you can make small amounts of money very quickly. Or you can play the multiplier game or bet your coins on sporting events to increase your winnings. All of that and the best part is withdrawals are quick, easy, and sent directly to the Bitcoin wallet of your choosing. So use my referral link in the description below and give the faucet a spin. You haven't got anything to lose, but you can gain easy money. It's kind of interesting because as you can see here when I do the legs, there's a little bit of negative space in there that I had to get just right and still allow the model to have the structural stability that it needed. So. Uh, I extruded the legs out both sides and then basically cut a hole out of the middle here and then I went to work on the head. Now this is probably my favorite part, I enjoyed doing this, it was pretty fun. Uh, basically just pulled up a reference picture in my other window over here and kind of just winged it so it is not geometrically exact to I guess a creeper's dimensions but you get the gist of it, you can tell what it is and it is secretly a USB stick. So we printed this guy out and it looked pretty cool on the printer. First we had to get everything lined up as best we could. I was a little worried about the face because no matter how many times I sliced it, it didn't really give me support there. And I know that that's a one millimeter recess, but there was really only one edge that I was worried about too much. And as you can see in this video, it came out fine. It's the mouth right there at the top, which is actually the bottom of the creeper's mouth. And this thing came off and went together pretty nicely. I was pretty excited to uh, get it off the bed here and show you guys. I really enjoyed making this one. I do have one more that I made as well, but we'll get to that in a minute. So let's get this thing out and see what it's like. I have it all put together here. It is standing on its own. It's pretty cool. You can see the USB is tucked away there. And you can see those little notches in the base as well as the negative space between the legs. So it is pretty well hidden, but you can still tell it's a USB stick if you look at it from the side. And here's a little bit closer detail of the notches I'm using to secure the head. And it is pretty sturdy. I mean, uh, they only go down about three millimeters and they are a millimeter thick and they are gripping the sides of that pretty well. So that's a good fit. And I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Although it is pretty chunky and not exactly <laughs> the smallest profile to put into a USB port and on that note let's see the next print and this is actually one of my favorites I really enjoy doing this one it is a dagger USB now there is a little cap for it that's dagger shaped I played around with making one that was like stone shaped or rock shaped or anvil shaped but this looks just awesome sticking out of the USB port it looks like I got really mad at my printer and I like that you can also still see the light through the plastic there so that's it guys Hope you appreciated this video. Don't forget to reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.